Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, I want to do yet another tutorial. I've done a couple videos like this on my live stream, so I decided I want to do a dedicated video to this subject. I'm going to be making here a drag king pompadour. That's right, a hairstyle that is targeted directly at drag kings. Something that's easy to follow along with and hopefully you can do at home and create your own drag king inspired hairdos. Or something that's more androgynous, or if you just want to learn how to make like a pompadour or like maybe even a Linda Evangelista kind of look. There's so many options you can go with this. It's just a short butch haircut. So let's do it. I have here the Vixen Rooted Blonde. We don't have this wig anymore, but it's from James Mansfield Beauty. And I have her, so we're going to style her up today and look for her on my website later when she is completely done and posted. So let's get started, shall we? Now, first things first, I have to cut this hair a little bit because for this, we don't need this much length. Like this is very long for the hairstyle we have. So I don't really need all of this. So we're gonna start by cutting some hair out. Now you can always just use a hair that's already pre-cut, but again, I'm using what I got here, okay, folks? So I'm gonna cut it like a horseshoe. Just cut some of the length out, almost like I'm doing like a vintage haircut, you know? And we're, this is like the beginning of how much we're gonna cut from this wig. Okay, we're gonna cut a lot of hair out as this process keeps going. But I wanted to go with this color because I like the outgrowth in it. I think it's gonna make for a fun like character choice for like a nice like 1950s greaser kind of look. Like they have the outgrowth going and the bleached hair. I think it's very, very fun. Very Baltimore greaser. All right, let's start curling it. Now for the top of the head, which has the most length, I'm going to make sure I curl it a specific way. You want like three rollers going back to create height for the pompadour. Now this is incredible. Like the pompadour hairstyle has like such a fun staple of the 1950s. And honestly, it wasn't just rocked by like, you know, greaser guys. It was a very big hairstyle for like lesbian circles too, I found out. Like it was very, very popular to wear your hair this way. So much like John Waters talked about a certain like butch lesbian stripper named Zorro in Baltimore that looked like Johnny Cash. <laughs> like this is the exact way she'd rock her hair. It was like a big up, up pompadour. Or even like um, in Desperate Living, I believe it's like Susan Lowe's character. She plays the butch lesbian. She has a full pompadour with outgrowth that's bleach blonde. Like it's so fierce and so punk. Now apparently these hairstyles got very, very popular in like the UK as well. So much so that like they have like little like docu-series documenting like life at the time, like Path A does them. And there's a certain like one where it shows a guy getting something called an elephant trunk where it is a pompadour, but it has like a hair piece that they like put into it, like a rat, like a hair piece rat donut that they like, they cut down so that it can go like a horseshoe and they put it in the head and they like wrap the hair around it. And it created an elephant's trunk kind of effect. <laughs> like it looked preposterous. And I always wonder like how much of this stuff is really true. Like I highly doubt anyone ever had that hairstyle fully just unironically. <laughs> Some of it you think like, or it's like proto YouTubers, like you are just doing that for attention. No, it actually did that. <laughs> I always wonder with those videos, how much of it is shock value. All right, now I'm gonna keep rolling this hair up and I'll be right. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back. I have the wig all curled, it is dried off. I steam set it, so it should be good to go. Now it should be cool to the touch. Yes, awesome, okay. We have it coming out, gorgeous, all right. Now I'm gonna start just ratting it as I go, so. And from here, I'm going to start cutting it. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be awesome. All right, I already love the way it's gonna be. I have the vision in my mind so far. Now for these back pieces, I under rolled them going upwards instead of backwards because I want to create sort of a mullet effect to it, which will also help, you know, disguise, you know, the fact that it's a wig. <laughs> There's a little stylistic change. You can do it going down as well. It's going to be more 80s that way. Or I guess 80s either way you look at it. It depends what you're going for. But for this style in particular, with this like outgrowth, I think it's going to be fun more like a mully kind of vibe. <laughs> All right. It's giving me very much like a John Waters-y kind of esque too, which I love. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I went to the Academy Museum and I have to say, it is an amazing exhibit they have of John Waters' films there. It blew me away the fact that it's even there, that they celebrate him. Cause like, I remember coming up, like his films were not celebrated. Like he was still one of those people that was kind of like dismissed as being inartistic and just like, you know, 
not being worthy of praise. So the fact that people are starting to like sing his praises and honor his work and see him as an artist is super cool, especially in the States. Like I feel like everywhere else they have that, like in France and England and everywhere else, he's been treated that way. It's just here, it took him a long time to get hip to it. But no, it was amazing seeing like Tracy Turnblad's dresses up close and like looking at it, I was like, oh my God. Like she had to be at least like maybe a size 14, like looking at the dress, like, gorgeous like what a beautiful woman and it's crazy it's like that is a completely average dress size to be and like when you watch hairspray you're like oh my god she's the biggest person that's ever existed like just the way they are like so cruel to her to like tell the story and everything but yeah it's insane seeing that dress in person like she was teeny tiny and also seeing like the materials they use like you could tell it was made in baltimore in the 1980s using vintage fabrics and stuff and like some of the outfits it's like how they're constructed like oh my gosh like, what a marvel. And like a lot of those costumes, like the really structural ones from like female trouble and stuff, John Waters used a woman that used to make clothes for like strippers, like burlesque women. That's the only place you could go to like get those kind of like sexy outfits made. No actual tailor would make them for you. <laughs> like you had to special order that. Ooh. And as you can see, I'm just slowly taking it down and ratting it as I go. It's gonna become a little more sparse I do this as I get close to the top but for the back section at least I'm doing this because like I want to keep a little bit of like neatness to it cute 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 all right now what I need to do here is pull this nape down I gotta make sure it stays secured down and doesn't rye right up too much now what I'm going to do is gonna look a little bit weird but we're just gonna do it Start spraying it with hairspray to create like clumpiness and stringiness in the hair. Oh, I love it already. Oh my God. You know, just playing around with it, especially in the back section. This is why we did it, when we did it. It just creates like a nice tapering in the back because they're still back combing in it. So you can still brush it a little longer if you needed to, but it's creating like a faux taper in the back just to like help hide the fact that, you know, it's a wig. And that's very, very important for like these like more male or masculine kind of hairstyles. It's like you could still have fun with like the androgyny of it and the fact that it's a little femme. Cause when you look at like those old hairstyles from like the 1940s and stuff, there's like finger waves and all sorts of like beautiful waves going on in the hair. Like there was definitely a flair to it. And some of them could borderline on the effeminate depending on whose lens is looking at it. And especially in the 1950s, guys that were greasers were especially talked down upon for doing this much and having this much attention to their hair. Like it was seen as something as a negative. Like it was effeminate to do that. Oh no, I've got the background lights. Let there be light. I love it so much. I love it so much. I love styling hair so goddamn much. Oh my gosh. No, I got inspired to do this because people were asking me when I was going to actually start doing more drag king inspired hairstyles. And I thought, you know what? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I've covered the gamut as far as like feminine hairstyles go. I've done just about everything I can do. So let's do something a little different, you know? All right, and here's where I'm talking about where we're gonna start getting a little more loosey-goosey with it. Yes, she's gonna look like the bouncer at the bar lickety splits. Love it, love it, love it. The outgrowth on this is giving me life. <laughs> so yeah, we're going for like crybaby vibes with this. Now, I just gotta tease the rest of this and I'll be right <laughs> All right, welcome back. I have it all teased out. Now let's start the fun part. We're gonna start styling it. Now I'm gonna start by brushing it. Ah! Reset. All right, now we're gonna start by brushing it back. Good Lord. Ah, that was the ghost. Honestly, I think that was the ghost. Oh my goodness. She doesn't want me to create such an awesome hairstyle. She's a hater. Now, this is why I had the direction of the rollers going up because we want to encourage this to happen, this big poof in the front. And as I do this, I'm gonna periodically start cutting the hair. Always cutting at an angle. And each piece getting a little longer as I go back. Like you can kind of see it. It's starting to butch up a little bit. <laughs> it's looking a little bit like, you know, an 80s businesswoman at the moment. Like she is running this boardroom, basically going back and behind. And if you need hairspray to do this, by all means, use it. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the place. Use that hairspray, honey. <gasps> Look, travel size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. I'm cutting at an angle, but making sure like, I leave it a little longer as I keep passing back. And then we can always go back and cut it shorter if we need to. But for the most part, we're just trying to encourage that to happen, where it tapers. 
just from this, like who is that right now? It's totally giving like an 80s teen heartthrob or something. <laughs> Maybe Luis Miguel. <laughs> One of those like studs that had the big puffed up hair with mousse in it. Or even like Rio from Gem and the Holograms. Amazing hair. All right, now for the side here, I'm gonna try and get a little stylistic here. Cutting with angles. So let me just create a faux part here so that we can pompadour it up. Actually, I think just going back on the pompadour is even better. That's what we're gonna do. Let's encourage that. Hairspray. Look at me, I'm working it out as I go through it. <laughs> okay, so update. For those of you that have been following me, I've mentioned it before, like there's a guy at my gym that fully wears like a pompadour, like a gigantic like gelled up pompadour like to the gym while he works out. And I'm just like obsessed. Like, I think that is so great like, to put that much effort into your look. We you know you're gonna be like sweating and stuff. That's everything to me. It's like people that worked out in the 1950s and like their dresses and stuff. <laughs> it's uh, cracks me up and I love it. It's so camp. But I remember like they were in front of me doing an exercise and I saw the back of their hair and I clocked it. It is a hair piece. Now hear me out. It is actually, like I mentioned before, like that Pathé video, it is a donut or some kind of rat that they used, like cut it in half to create like a horseshoe, put it on the head and covered it with hair. And that's what creates all the big volume. Cause I was looking at it, I was like, the hair itself is like bone straight and it goes sticking straight up. And I was like, how is this done? Like I was gonna consult NASA and everything and just figure it out. But yeah, I clocked it, I figured it out and I love it. <laughs> it turns out I love it. Okay, now with a pompadour, it's all about the way you brush. It's kind of just like brushing into a circle above on the head, like creating a dome and letting it meet in the center. And you can go so far as like to pin it or something if you want, you don't have to. Sometimes like the teasing and the layering should allow for that to kind of just happen naturally. So I'm not really too, too concerned with that. But yeah, like these are those kind of fun, like greaser hairstyles. And like looking at it like this, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll show you this side in a second. This is like, perfect the way you want it everything okay <laughs> and we want like the hair to droop forward like that because that's what really makes it like come alive is the pomp we just need like some suavecito or something really get this guy singing he's gonna be ready for rockabilly weekend which i'm excited about i'm gonna try and go this year because i'm always working or i'm out of town so i think i might actually be in town for it this time so i'm gonna go and try and make it to rockabilly weekend and see everything i want to see like miss auto show to see a rockabilly beauty pageant in person. Oh my God. It's kind of coming together. I have to say like, it's looking pretty damn good. Like you can see like just from like the way the curls are going, it's already falling to like a nice, fun, natural wave to give it like a lot of personality. And that's what these hairstyles are all about. Like it's not just about who wears it, it's about the personality with it. Like there's a reason why in cartoons, like whenever somebody wants to like act like they're cool, they always look like this. <laughs> it's like visual shorthand to dress like, you know, the Fonz. I think it's just about there. Okay, and one thing I did is I pulled down parts of the side tabs to create sort of like a faux sideburn kind of illusion. And what I do here is I cut it at an angle and it's supposed to create something that was like sideburn or something you could use for it. So fraying it at an angle. And it could be a spit curl, it could be a sideburn, depending on who's wearing it. And also it gives off that faux illusion of a sideburn, if that's what your desired result is. And see, this is why we cut it gradually going up, because it created a nice like back section in the nape of the head. I'm obsessed. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going through and trimming strays and shaping the pomp. But other than that, this is the style, okay, honey? And she is done. I'll be right back with the final <laughs> result. Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, this king is everything. Oh my God. <laughs> What a fun, stylized pompadour. I am obsessed with like little sideburns and everything. The root actually came out really cute on this. I'm actually pleased I chose this. And I love like how stylish they are. It could be rockabilly, it could be 80s, it could be, you know, butch, drag king, it'd be, you know, androgynous supermodel. There's so many ways you could take this hairstyle. I think it's super fun and super easy to achieve. So hopefully you may have learned something from this tutorial. I really hope so. I hope this was an easy tutorial for you to follow along with, or hopefully you've learned something that could be a useful tool for your arsenal. Yes, 
I'm so pleased with this. I'll be selling this one on my website, James Mansfield Beauty. Now, in case you don't know, you can become a wiglet here on this channel. That's right. I started a membership here on YouTube. Yes, we have our wiglet tier where you get custom emotes and badges themed after moi and more to come. So be sure and subscribe today and become a wiglet. <laughs> Join the cool kids club. And I have to give a huge shout out to our members, our Wiglets, Jacob, Ernie, Duke, Roy, Just BKZ, Vera, Cuervo, myself, Sponge King, Pearface, Steve, so many kitties, Jake, Larissa, JT, Christine, Curtis, Miss Mosey D, Romeo and Juliet, Selena, Rose, Darth Caray, and Catalina. Thank you all so much for being my Wiglets. Be sure and join my YouTube membership today. All right, you guys. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Here, so we make a pageant topper or so you make a dolly parton cake come on click it you know you want to if you don't click it i'll give you a butch haircut so click it this pool is nice do you think i need buccal fat removal quentin tarantino wanted to see my feet i was stifler's mom they call me a milf want to see my white lotus pray for tanya